today I'm going to invite you to the world of Aaron and I'm going to tell you what immersion means to us. Uh, of course we are a company so we try to make business out of this, but I believe that, it, that uh, immersion is really important. Uh, in this field, whether you do storytelling, you do movies, whatever, or you try to do business. And I say try to because we have been doing this about a year now. Uh, we already, uh, we do have uh, uh, some further work from this and we are uh, working hard this year, but this will be the break of the year for our But I think that we are really living exciting times at the moment. Suddenly the world has changed. I don't know how many noticed, but it really has changed. And uh, how it has changed, it's small. And it's really exciting. At least for me, I have been a science fiction fan all my life. Uh, uh, even as a kid, I loved the uh, Narnia books, with the, the mystery world just opening from a copper and uh, later on there were Harry Potters and so on, so on, so on, and of course Princess Leia appearing as a hologram in Star Wars. And suddenly I have a job where I can do this kind of stuff all day long. This is just fantastic. But now we are in a, um, in a time where actually the real world um, is uh, it's one thing, but then we have uh, a new virtual layer on top of it. And so far it has been uh, using social media and, uh, and so on, you know, watching videos and uh, using internet like basically everywhere, mobile. But now we are becoming to an age where actually the virtual world is mixing to the real world. So we are starting to live in this reality more and more. It might be when we, uh, usually when I discuss with someone about mixed reality or, or uh, virtual reality, people think games or porn or something, depending on who I'm talking to. But, but anyway, it's usually something entertaining. But actually it can also be something very informative. And uh, I believe that it's not just entertainment, it will be business, it will be education, basically all fields of life will be full of augmented or virtual reality in some years. But I must say that I, I, I don't think that that will lead us to be cyber or anything like that. So <laughs> I'm not that in science fiction. <laughs> not that much. Well, anyway, our focus in this field is in digital marketing. Uh, because we could basically do anything with augmented reality or virtual reality. Like I already said, education or, uh, or manufacturing, uh, there are so many possibilities in medicine uh, and all that. But we have to focus on something, because otherwise we couldn't have got anything done. So our focus has been on digital communication, digital marketing. And uh, we are on a mission. Our mission is to change the way people see and interact with this world. So, there is a lot to be done, but I'm really glad that we are not doing that alone. There are quite many others who are doing it as well. We do this with everything. A little bit about our company. Uh, Robust Snow was founded already in 2013. But but at that time, we all as founders, we were still working in different day jobs. Uh, me, I'm the CEO of this company, and Otto, our CTO, we were both working in, uh, in one of these big international IT companies. And uh, also here, our creative director, he, uh, he was uh, 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 working as a manager in the music industry, and also working in the film industry a bit. And, uh, we started to think that there should be something else to do, uh, something more, something really, really new. And actually, Otto and I we have a background in location in uh, information systems, and we were thinking that that there should be this kind of new, uh, new uh, environment that uses location and uh, uh, mixes entertainment and everything. And that was the first idea when we found with Robust North. But that became something 
so big, the whole idea was so huge that we were not able to pitch it to anyone because nobody understood. We had a map solution with all kind of entertainment, movies, music, augmented reality stuff. And uh, we went in a couple of pitching competitions and nobody understood what we had in mind. We thought it was the most brilliant idea ever, but nobody else understood what we had, <laughs> had in mind. But uh, we, we let it evolve a bit and then uh, around May uh, last, uh, no, two, not last year, it was also oh, almost two years ago, we were finally ready with Avalon. So we have the basic idea that actually we are going to develop augmented reality platform and we still have the location information along, but it's under the hood. So actually we can have geotagged targets and different things happening in different places, but the yeah, users don't know, we don't have a map interface anymore. Uh, nowadays the core team is five members, so it's as founders, me, Otto, and Otso. Then we have Marco, he is our developer. Uh, and uh, then Tony. Tony is the newest member of the band. He joined early this year. He's our sales manager. And yes, our main product uh, is uh, Avalib. It's kind of our only product as well, but uh, we also do a little bit of like side projects with some companies. <coughs> so we can have some really tailor made stuff. For some in some locations that we don't call Avalon, but it's basically pretty much the same thing with augmented or virtual reality. But our focus is in Avalon, that's the 98% of what we do. And also, we do a little bit about Avalon, what it is. So, it's a platform, and we sell it by license for our B2B customers. So, the main tool, actually, the main product is what you see, the area manager, what you see on the right side. Uh, it's an easy to use online portal that we uh, serve for B2B customers, that is like companies, but also of course public organizations and foundations and so on. Uh, but not for private people at this moment, because then we would need to have registration and everything like that, so it's easier now at this point to sell to, sell to B2B, but let's see how it goes. Uh, but that is the place where you create augmented reality campaigns and uh, where you manage them. And it's really easy to use. But then for everyone, we have this free mobile application called Avalon. You can find it in App Store or Google Play. And uh, it has, uh, basically it's for viewing the campaigns, but you also can do some interactive stuff there. Like we have a camera there, we have a selfie cam, I'll tell a bit more about that later. Uh, we also have a flashlight that is extremely important <laughs> feature. Uh, actually, it, yeah, we added the fast flashlight to Avalon after we first attended Schwash. We have black flyers with uh, the background was black and then something on it. We couldn't use them there because it was so dark. And uh, because Avalon is based on image recognition. And we have a star, and with the dark flyers, just good and good. <laughs> so uh, we pretty quickly added the class light, so now we didn't need to uh, throw those flyers away. We still refuse it. But actually it has become quite handy, because in Finland we all quite often have dark uh, outside, or, uh, or sometimes you use our rings in, in a place it's inside where the lighting is not that good, so it, it, we have kept it there. I'll tell you a bit more about the tools that we have on Aralyn later. Uh, we have just added some really nice, nice functionalities there. But that is basically Aralyn. Two things, the app and then the uh, online portal for B2B customers. There will be, one of our focus is to increase the features that, uh, that uh, are interactive. So I think I, I can already promise that during this year there will be more stuff on our app where you can actually create things yourself. Like send something nice, augmented stuff for your friends. So, that, but I can't keep, I promise to our CTO that I won't keep any date on that happen. But in our mind, uh, it's really important to 
touch people's feelings, and that's why immersion is really the key thing in everything, because we want to bring excitement to everyday life. The childhood thrill that you had when you were opening your Christmas calendar, and what is there behind the, uh, each of the, uh, the days there, and that uh, it's just finding new things in the places where you don't expect to find something digital, like starting from the milk can or the uh, outdoor posters in a bus stop or wherever it is. That's the beginning of an adventure when you scan it with an augmented reality app. There can be basically anything. When you go to the movie and afterwards you have seen the Lord of the Rings, afterwards you go and go to have a hamburger or something and, and you can actually scan the paper on the credit and uh, there you have Kendall kind of talking to you. That, uh, the feeling continues with what you have on the movies. People are looking for interactive challenges. That is something that I always talk, you know, tell to our customers that are mainly uh, like uh, ad agencies and media agencies that they wouldn't buy a phone that they could only use for answering calls. That the customers are looking for interaction. They want to be part of the plant. They want to they want to do it, they, they want to uh, make it grow. So people are looking something interactive, challenging stuff, and that's what they should give them. So we try to help them. Uh, I already mentioned that Fox International used Amarillion on their channel during the Christmas time. And uh, you might have seen this. This is a screen capture from their ad. Uh, they had the, they were, uh, promoting the Venus movie that is now on the uh, movie theaters and uh, they had this competition. They first said that, hey, when you see this, soon Snoopy will appear uh, and when Snoopy appears, just scan it with Arian, take a picture of what you see <coughs> and share it on Facebook and then you will win. probably win some movie tickets or so. And I was a bit skeptic first, when they said that they were go they are going to do that. First, of course I said, yeah, 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 make a film, that's great. <laughs> but <laughs> I was a bit skeptic because I was afraid that, that is, there is too much step, too many steps to do before you actually get the reward of seeing the augmented stuff. But it was, this was really interactive in a way that it was in your own living room and you were challenged to do something, uh, to see, to do uh, uh, stuff so that you can see something virtual appearing. But actually people want it. It was really nice to see that quite many had the time. First when they saw that, okay, Snoopy is coming, it was quite fast uh, uh, when the, the Snoopy actually appeared. So for the first time you couldn't do it. You just heard, that, okay, there's a competition. Then you downloaded the app and you waited when the Snoopy comes next time. Then they scanned it. Uh, it had done so, uh, it done so that when you scanned it on TV, there was actually a dancing Snoopy that appeared on top of your TV. So it was like on top of the box, dancing there. It's quite nice. And then people took pictures of it and shared it on Facebook. But I have to say that not all waited long enough to see the Snoopy. Some of the people were thrilled because they managed to see our early logo going around when it was just streaming it. But anyway, nice that they were happy. <laughs> but but uh, still, uh, still, most of the people got it right. But the feedback was really nice. Uh, folks liked it and they are planning to do something new, so let's see what they will come up. Uh, but this was only in Finland, I have to say. I, hope, I wish it would have been a worldwide campaign, but no, it was in Finland. So let's see. Um, if you read Imali magazine, you might have also seen this. This was the October issue. And uh, it was a special uh, uh, edition. They had this uh, the paper during 30 years and uh, they had special covers. This one was planned and uh, designed by Jani Leinonen, one of the uh, Finnish media artists. He was also had at the same time uh, an exhibition at uh, Kiasma. But he designed this and uh, there is Ina Kustonen on this on the screen. Um, I think it works as every target also from here from the screen. I don't know if someone has it. 
we tested. I tested it for mass spray and it works, but I don't know if it's a bit hard to produce it, so I don't know. But anyway, uh, uh, there is a little mention just over here. Check what Ina has to say. Download free Arian app and scan the cover of the magazine and see what she has to say. And also this one surprised us because it's quite small, but the readers cut it and scan it and we got quite nice numbers of how many people did. So when you scan this with Arian, uh, her head, her hair starts flowing and she starts to tell the story about the pressures people, people mostly uh, young women have on their weight, on how they look and everything. She's actually listing all the ways uh, she has been using to lose her weight during the years. And that's plenty. It's a long, long story. <laughs> I, don't, I think it's imaginary, but anyway. Also, one nice thing uh, is that Quite many of our customers, they have when they do this kind of campaign, they also shoot a short film and then they share it on Facebook. And usually, they got quite a lot of attention there. So it works also in different layers in media. Or maybe you were one of those who participated on the Svenska Teatens Alien Jagten, so it's the Alien Hunt. Uh, competition that they had last summer, and they had this um, play that was based on uh, Orwell's 1984 book, and uh, they used Arlen in many things. They had flyers in the theater that people could scan when they were to watch it, and then there was this uh, face of a man who started to talk to you, some weird stuff and, uh, and stuff like that. But they also had this competition. They had hidden free tickets to the play uh, somewhere in the city. And then they just said in Facebook that, hey, we are uh, starting this game. Uh, there are free tickets for, in different places of the city. You need to scan the logo with everything, and then you get uh, tips where to find them. And they were thinking, <laughs> they were thinking that, okay, the uh, typical follower of Svenska Theater, the Swedish theater in, in Facebook, is uh, mid-aged people, uh, busy, they are working, they are tired, they are <laughs> everything, and they probably don't have time or enthusiasm to start download apps or running around the city or anything like that. So, so they thought that, okay, that if they would have maybe 10, 20 people doing this, it might be just good. It was a, a small thing that they used. But actually, it was scanned almost 200 times, and they figured that about 100 people were there looking for the tickets, and all the tickets were found. They were really happy. It was not like it was uh, some huge invasion going on, people trying to find the tickets. But anyway, it was about 100 people who took time to download the app, and they were not the 20 year old indigenous people. They were just people like me. Okay, I'm meeting this. Authentic reality world, so I'm not a good comparison. But anyway, it's a uh, people with kids who are working and stuff. So, and it was not the summer holiday time, so it was quite good. Uh, it was already in April last year, but well, of course, these were a bit younger, <laughs> so there were. But there were quite many people who were there. They were really happy about it. Let's see if they can do something else with them later on. But the, that is something nice that we can do with augmented reality. We can make people um, do, uh, take action. So basically you can challenge them. There is something you can find, you can do. It's like, um, oh yeah, there's an adventure for you. So you can you start doing it and then you share it on, on social media. We have a couple of more of the same type of uh, campaigns. Um, one was uh, with Ashley Smith, he has this uh, <coughs> joint uh, uh, theme going on and they had a competition. They put stickers all over the Helsinki and uh, then they told uh, in different media, there's also media channels, the channels that, hey, if you find a sticker, scan it with Adeline and in one of them, 
there is only a billion two. But anyway, there is a, then you can win actually a free ticket to the night event. And, um, and that was also pretty nice. People went there and tried to find it like that. And uh, some lucky ones just got the free ticket and went in. But it was uh, nice because they were having this discussion online that was really nice. People, people liked it. And then there's the rap artist Akomerova. He had this competition. He was uh, having a, um, a show at the at Palastia, and he said to his fans on Facebook that, hey, scan my album cover, there will be a rat. And your task is to, to take this rat somewhere, to place it somewhere in a nice place, and let's see what the rat is doing. So there was a challenge that that make the rat do something fun, and then the best one will be awarded with the VIP package to the concert. And, uh, and, and yeah, the fans loved it. The winner uh, put this, uh, the, the rat on the skateboard, so it actually looked when they took a picture of it with the camera, it looked like the rat was skating the skateboard. It was really nice. And uh, then for Hensei Brothers, also last spring they had a concert at Tavastia and, uh, and they just, that was not a competition, but they wanted to tell their fans that, hey, if you already have a ticket, scan it with Arlene and we have something extra for you while you're waiting for the concert. And that was, we got really got nice feedback also from that. So they appeared on top of the, uh, that is not the original ticket, but it was similar. So the band appeared on top of the ticket to play a little bit. Just that. Our very first campaign ever was with a Finnish singer, Samuli Putra. And that was really interesting because um, it was uh, for four days. And uh, the, on the first day, yeah, he said on Facebook that, hey, I have a new video coming and you, are, you will be the first ones to see it. But you need to do something before you see it. So download everything and then scan my album cover. And then when the fans did, he was there standing on top of the album cover as a li very little man. Because that was, uh, <coughs> and, he, and he said that he was telling a weird story. And, uh, um, and it continued. He said, okay, uh, keep following this. Tomorrow, take the smallest bill. So it was the five euro bill. And scan it. And again, the small family report appeared on top of it, and the story continued. And then on the third day, it was the passport cover. So he was using something that people easily got, passport, five euros, uh, stuff like that. And it was really nice to, uh, to realize that the fans followed. They did. They came back the next day. And then on the, the, on the, after the passport cover, uh, he said that, okay, on the last day, the fourth day, just uh, take the, the booklet that is uh, inside the, the CD, open it um, from the middle and scan it, and then the video appeared, the new video. So the fans were first ones to see. Um, these are some of our customers, the biggest one that they are already using Evelyn. Our biggest campaign error was last spring with Apu. Uh, it's a, a publication by technical students and company uh, Espo. And last year it was uh, they were always publishing on the first of May. And uh, it's something. It's a uh, funny jokes and uh, not so funny jokes <laughs> and, uh, and stuff like that. But. Um, they sell it around the 1st of May, and uh, this year it was two deck of cards. And the cards had different kind of jokes. But then you had also a virtual layer of the jokes when you scan it with Aaron. And that was quite popular. Uh, on May, we had over 20,000 scans, all over in that campaign. So that was quite nice. And it was uh, still are scanning those cards. So. So what's next? What we what will we be doing next? What will happen next in general? Well, this is what I believe. We'll shape the real world. So now 
we are entering more of a mixed reality. Of course, virtual reality is something that I really didn't tell much about today. We also support that, so you can we support uh, 360 panoramas, uh, we can make uh, interactive patterns inside, uh, links inside of those. So you can have, uh, we, we uh, support like Google Cardboard and stuff like that, you can do anything like that. But I think the really cool thing is to make the real world respond on augmented reality force. So basically, when you scan something real, like your coffee mug with some print, it, it, there is an action on augmented reality side. Something happens, you see something extra. But then, you can do stuff in the augmented reality world, push a button, click a link, scan something, which will actually uh, make something happen in the real world. And we have uh, first demos at our office right, uh, right now that by scanning the target, a light goes on or off on the different side of the booth. Basically, we can, uh, we can do this stuff to any device that has its own IP address. So, it's actually quite cool to think all this stuff, we could have theater smoke coming on uh, on some, uh, some places or some sound uh, surprising people, whatever. So, so uh, let's say you are playing an augmented reality game somewhere in a mall and suddenly the soda machine gives you a can of coke because you have won something. So, so that's very re reasonable, we can do it actually already. Or like I mentioned, push a virtual button to switch lights on and off. Or what else? Enter a mixed reality um, uh, ad campaign or a game, which you, you will be telling you more, uh, a mixed reality games later, uh, that thrills you with sound, smell, feeder smell, everything like that. So actually, like I said in the beginning, so our focus is changing the world um, and making now changing the way people interact with the world. So also we are making the world to uh, to uh, interact <laughs> with with us. So I think that is where we are going next. There are some quotes that have been said about Ari as a product. Uh, this was really nice from the executive producer of Swash, Nicholas. So like he said that Aaron is a great example of app that are that are uh, revolutionizing, uh, revolutionizing social and conventional and digital media. Happy to hear that he did so. This was from a Finnish music portal in magazine. They used Aaron in their one of their numbers. I think it was last summer. That welcome to a new reading experience. It feels mystical and exciting. But this one I love most is from Sami Jaffa, from kind of legendary man from the Hammer Works. <laughs> he didn't say much, but <laughs> that's enough what he said. The most amazing app I've ever seen. I think that I've seen a lot. So. <laughs> Our office is at Helsinki at Kampi, so if you're interested about Augmented reality, uh, virtual reality, or anything, so you can send me an email, give me a call, have to talk after that, you know, the days or something. It's uh, always nice to have a chat about this. <laughs>